We do have team coverage for you tonight. Brian Moss with gun buyback programs and if they really work. Katie Weiss is talking grief and how to talk about the shootings with her children. We want to start with Spencer Wilson though and Spencer you explored why these shootings keep happening. Karen, I wanted to know how we as a society have gone this long, continuing to see the same outcomes and how we've grown numb to the slaughtering of children inside of classrooms and when it's finally going to spark change. First, I spoke with someone who's known this suffering from the start. If you remember the events of Columbine, you will recall that the library was the scene of the most intense violence. And I was there seven and a half minutes waiting, wondering when it was my turn to die. Crystal Woodman Miller has watched school shooting after school shooting and done her best to preach kindness towards others. And still, 21 people killed, 19 defenseless children shot dead and i've told my kids i've looked them in the eyes and i've said i'm so sorry that i haven't done more that i haven't done more to make this world a, a better place she says her faith keeps her from losing all hope she still believes in the good of humanity but i also it feels really daunting it feels really heavy when we've come 23 years and we've seen as you've said just very little progress progress potentially paused by an overwhelming sense of apathy when there are too many of these shootings to even remember each and every one, or it would be too painful. The enormity of that tragedy, if we were to open ourselves up to the enormity of that hurt, it really wouldn't be possible for us to function. I spoke with a professor of psychology from DU about our response, or lack thereof, to these failings of society. Of course, we're threading a needle here where we have to care enough to mount a response, to, to shoulder the grief of the community and the people who are personally affected, the community at large, all of us being affected. And we need to make space for being completely immobilized by that grief. And we need to push forward to make changes. To feel the weight of these sorrows, but not to succumb to helplessness. There's a lot of apathy. And I think that, I think even I alluded to it a second ago, I believe that we need to grieve. We need to be angry. We need to feel the depth. We need to see the faces of these young people who were murdered, of these two teachers who were murdered as heroes protecting their children. Because when our hearts begin to change and feel the effects of that, that's where real change is. It comes from. Crystal told me that this could be the moment right here, no matter how small, that change does begin to go. Live in the Mountain Newsroom, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.